when Trump got elected, uh, they got a bunch of press about how they made fun of that in the episode where Lisa becomes president. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's it's funny, though. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people that are like, well, the Simpsons aren't predicting things. They're just thinking of things futuristically. Like when they when the first time they ever go to the future where Marge is on a video phone or. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things from that episodes where you could call it predicting the future, but it's just the writers imagining what the future will be like. And it just happened to come to pass. Like, I don't, I don't wouldn't necessarily as technology advances. I mean, as far as technology goes, you could probably imagine something and eventually it's going to come into reality. Just the mm-hmm. way technology exists. Now, the Trump thing becoming president, who in their right mind would ever even <laughs> want that? Like yeah. that, I would call that a prediction over a lot of other things that the Simpsons have done because only a moron would write that Trump becomes president because he was doing yeah. it as a joke. And then yeah. somehow it happened. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, going a few years ago, you know, they did the Lady Gaga doing the Super Bowl halftime. Of course, that was bound to happen. She's one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. She was eventually going to do the the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I don't. Is that really a prediction or is that just a spoiler? <laughs> yeah. I think I, I got to say probably my favorite Simpsons meme I've seen floating around uh, in terms of the predictions is there's a guy holding open a wallet and there's nothing in it and there's a picture of Homer holding open his wallet and there's nothing in it and he, he just goes the Simpsons have done it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are they going to do next? Hey, maybe they can predict uh, a sports team who's never won a championship that they're see, actually going to win a championship. But see, that's not – so, I mean, it, it is funny. Like, everyone always goes back to, like, the Cubs and Back to the Future. Like, oh, Back to the Future predicted the Cubs are going to win the World Series. Well, look at it like this. They had to win it eventually. <laughs> it's – I mean, it's just – like that's that's the weird thing. Like you could say, yeah, they predicted the Cubs winning the World Series, but it's it's event. It was going to happen, regardless yeah. if it was that year or any year. Now, if the Simpsons uh, decide to predict the Vikings winning a Super Bowl, <laughs> now that might be a prediction worth <laughs> worth happening. Because I don't know. Well, they hate right. the Packers so much they don't even want the Lombardi Trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> I feel like they would make a Vikings joke akin to the Denver Broncos being oh, given to Homer yeah. more than them predicting the Vikings winning the Super Bowl. Well, yeah. I know the the episode where, you know, Homer is betting on football and, you know, Lisa joins them on it. They actually predicted the winner of the Super Bowl that year. Yeah. And then the following year they did the same thing with the Cowboys. So I don't know if that's really predicting per se. I mean, obviously they had a 50, 50 shot. Well, not even a 50, 50 shot. Cause it was written the year before. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was, I, I don't know if they just looked at the odds, you know, of who was possible, you know, who was going to win the Super Bowl that year. And they're like, all right, well, this team is favored. We're just going to choose this team. And they just happened to be right. Yeah. So if one of the writers had a really bad gambling addiction. Well, they all did. Yeah, <laughs> we we learned that the guys in the white writers room had uh, that. That's why that episode even came into existence is because they had a horrible gambling problem. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I couldn't give you the Dallas Cowboys. I hope that's will be <laughs> Denver Broncos. Probably the greatest villain in any medium ever. Yeah. Hank Scorpio. I honestly feel like he should have been the villain in the Simpsons movie. Like I know it's the same voice actor. I know it's still yeah. Albert Brooks, but I think well, a Scorpio themed the Simpsons movie would have been pretty awesome. That I yeah, honestly, now that you say that, I want it. 